Alright guys, so in this video, I'm going to go over how you can find profitable app ideas. If you want to create iOS apps or Android apps, I'm going to go over the two-step method to find unlimited ideas and share the tool that I use to find exactly how much an app is making in the app store. Plus, towards the end of the video, I'm going to share three ideas that I found using the method that I'm going to share. So let's get started. The two-step method of how to find ideas is basically like this. First, you want to find problems. And then from problems, you want to create a app that solves that problem. The app doesn't have to be unique, but the only requirement that it does need to do is solve the problem. So within this problem, there might be multiple apps that solve the same problem. Let's say the problem is it's really hard to take notes. Students have to take a lot of classes and within each class, you have to take a lot of notes. That's a problem. And now the app, like it, it, it could come in multiple forms. So one form might be a document app that allows you to take notes. So this is like maybe Apple Notes or Google Docs, right? Maybe another app idea is that it allows you to organize your notes better. Maybe AI folder system that or organizes all your notes that you've taken in your classes. So both of these are solving the problem where it's hard to take notes and keep track of all your notes. And then the third app idea is the app takes notes for you. So you don't even have to type, you would just open the app up and it would just take notes for you. All three of these app ideas are totally different, but they solve the same pain point where the ideal customer is a student that has to take a lot of notes and they have problem taking notes. This is the two-step method where first you want to find a problem, then you want to come up with app ideas or find ideas that are already in the market and you want to create better versions of those products. I'm gonna show you guys how you can find the problems and then how you can find the apps. How do you find problems in the marketplace that you can build products for, or not just apps, but like any products. So what you can do is you can go to Exploring Insights and within Exploring Insights, there are a bunch of categories that you can search for. So let's say you're really interested in a certain category and you want to find problems within that category. I'm really interested in podcasts. So I click on this category here, which is podcast cover art. And once you click on this link, what will happen is it will bring up a table of all the pain points and ideas within this niche. Once this data loads, you'll see that here are all the pain points. Someone may want a professional looking podcast cover art for um, attracting new listeners. This one here, they want a luxury podcast and the great thing is you can also see the total demand for this pain point if you go over to the right you'll see how much money people are already charging and how many completed orders which means the total number of people that have this pain point plus the total revenue so if something has high completed orders but low revenue then it means it may not be a good opportunity but if both of these numbers are high then it's a good good signal let's just go with this one and we want to create an app to generate podcast cover art. So what we can do is go over to this site called sensortower.com. I'm not associated with them in any way, but I was using them because they're free and you can actually see how much revenue the app is making. So I just randomly looked up logo maker and this one, this app is making $20,000 from 40,000 downloads since the last month and it's ranked 119 in the app store. So it's a lot of good app information, especially with like revenue numbers. Let's get the podcast ideas. Basically you would search podcast cover art, right? Here you can see that this, this pain point has already made $40,000, but let's see if there are any apps in the app store right now that already solve this problem. So we can search like podcast cover art and see that no ideas come up. So we have to go more niche. Instead of podcast cover art, we can just search podcast. We can see some types of podcast apps that are already in the market. There's like Spotify, Amazon Music. A lot of these are more like the podcast players. So instead let's search like art cover or cover art and see if this generates any uh, results. All of the revenue numbers and downloads are on the right hand side as well. You can scroll through and look at some of these. But let's open this one. Also, there are a bunch of other apps that can give more analytics about iOS apps. This isn't the only app. Some other ones are probably paid, but this one is free. If you're on a budget, this is probably the best way, but if you wanted to use other paid one, it also works. So this one, it's um, generating album cover and art maker. It looks like it's targeted towards people that create music. 
So it's in a similar niche, but this is more probably for music people. What you can do is you can create a podcast art generator that is targeted only for po people that create podcasts. And you can see that this person has less than 5,000 downloads and less than 5,000 revenue and is ranked 292 in the graphic and design category. So you can even click on this category and look at all of the apps in this category. Let's see if this opens up the charts. So once you click on that, you will see all of the apps in this niche, designs and graphics. And once you open this page up, you'll see all of the apps in that niche. And uh, there's a bunch of ideas. Just to go over what we did. So first we found a problem that people need help designing cover art for the podcast. And once we have a problem, we're looking for solutions that can solve this problem. So one of the solutions that we found is this app here, which generates cover arts with AI. And obviously there's a bunch of other solutions that you can find with more research. So let's just do another example. Once we go back to Excel sites, we can go into another category. Let's go down and see about video templates editing. So video is a pretty big niche, but this one is a bit more specific because it's about video templates editing. And if we scroll down, we will see all of the pain points. So this one here, it's edit video hive after effects template. They need a custom video hive after effect template. I'm not sure what video hive is, but you can see that this has already made $30,000. This one here, it's create engaging short video ads for your business. So let's try searching for that in the app tensor. So we just go here and search short video ads or just video ads. Let's see if this pulls up anything. Video players and editors. This seems like a broad category and it has 2 million downloads. So let's click on this one app in a different language. So let's try to find one in English. Um, All right. I wasn't able to find a video app in the app tensor site, but what I did was I basically searched on Google. So you can also do this probably on your iPhone if you have one, but what you would do is basically search the keyword. Sometimes it might require some playing around with. So if video ads doesn't come up with any results, maybe you can try like video ads creator or video ads creation, basically play around with the keyword. Once I search video ads creator, you'll see that this is uh, the first result that comes up. So we can open up both, both of these and see what these apps do. So this one has 4.7 stars, 79 ratings. And you can see that they allow the person to create video ads using their app. This one here, it's also doing the same thing where it allows you to create ads or posts using their app, right? So these are just some app ideas where it's already validated because you can see that in Explain Insights, this service has already made $75,000. So these are pretty safe to make, especially if you're able to market them. So let's just go over one more example. We go back to the homepage and we find another niche. Let's go into singers and vocalists. This is more of a category where you're going to be targeting people that like to sing or have songs. This one here, it's be a professional male singer. This person probably is singing for some company. So this could work. One idea I have off the bat is like an AI singer that you target for businesses. So you create songs for businesses and they could use it for in their videos or ads or whatnot. But yeah, let's try searching for that. So it's AI singer, iOS, right? Just put iOS as the tag in Google and it should bring up a lot of results that come with that. And then once you see app names, you, you can use this as idea to find more apps, right? You would just think of keywords that other apps might use. So for this one here, it might be like AI covers, AI songs, AI music, AI song maker. So in that light, basically you, you would use what well, you would use these titles as seed ideas for other ideas. So this one here, they're using AI covers to create their music. So you can see that on the iPhone, they already have 5 million users. And what they allow you to do is use your voice and it allows you to create a song. So it's pretty basic. This one here, it is the same thing, but they're targeting different um, audiences because this one is like AI covers and this one is AI song generator. You, you can create another one for AI rapper or AI guitarist. A lot of these niches here are already validated and exploring insight. So you can see that this one is like a, a powerful male pop rock metal singer. So you can create separate apps just for these niches. This one here, they allow you to create AI music and you can see it's like the other one, but you can add twists and turns to how you design your app. So yeah, these are just three quick ideas and I'll probably make a follow-up video. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.